Hey guys, this is Lori and I'm getting ready to have TMJ surgery tomorrow and have my teeth wired shut for eight weeks. Um, anyway, just wanted to get on here and do a quick video. I've been following some other ladies who have had the surgery and I've taken some tips from them. So for anyone out there who's fixing to undergo this, I am going to take you on my journey. Uh, first of all, as you know, if you're going to have TMJ surgery, you're going to be eating out of a syringe. So I went ahead and pre-prepped some food in my syringes. Got them in the refrigerator and I went to the store and bought a whole bunch of different smoothies, baby food, applesauce, boost, just some different things that uh, people have told me they have been eating that taste pretty good. So I've weeded through them and figured out what I do and do not like because some of them I do not like. Um, anyway, I had another lady that I was watching tell me to get some squirt bottles. So I did that. Got a couple of squirt bottles. She said one of them you'll keep water in to rinse your mouth out because you cannot brush your teeth for six to eight weeks while your mouth is wired shut. So I've got one to keep water in to do a mouth rinse. They also will be giving me um, some mouth rinse, medicated mouth rinse, so I have an extra one for that. And I would also suggest, um, I've got a just a cup that I'm going to be using to, once you rinse your mouth out in, to spit this into, because um, you can't swallow it. Um, and just, you know, your husband, your wife, whoever's taking care of you can get it and empty it out for you. I also um, was told to get a pill crusher. This is called the pill pulverizer. I bought it off Amazon. It was like five or six bucks. You put your pills in here, screw the lid down, squash them together. They turn into a powdery mix and you can use them um, to go up in your syringe. I would say this, do if you're on several different medications that you're going to be taking, call your pharmacist. One of the pills that I was going to crush up in there, I found out was in a time-released capsule and you can't do that because it'll be giving you too much medicine at once. So make sure you get in touch contact with your doctor. Uh, one of the pills that I am taking, they are actually talking to the pharmacist and my doctor are working together to get me something else to take. Um, one of the ladies that I've also taken recommended getting a bed buddy. I got one of those too, got it off of Amazon. It was like seven or eight bucks. It can be put in the microwave and be uh, warmed up or it can be put in the freezer and be frozen. The lady that I was following, what she did was wrapped it around her head, and as you see, it's got two handles, one on each end. So she took just a big hair clip and clipped it to the top of her head. Um, oh, I already tried that. It works great. Um, so that's one thing you can do. Uh, also, in my room, um, where I'm going to be recuperating, I have set up my little area where I'm going to need my stuff. Um, so one of the things that I got, a friend of mine let me borrow her little uh, whiteboard. So I wrote on here, F is for food, M is for medicine, D is for um, a drink, and BR is bathroom. So that I don't have to speak, I can just point at it and my husband will know what I need to do. Um, one of the things that really freaks me out about the surgery is they said that I could not... Um, or not being able to open my mouth. Um, I'm a bit of a claustrophobic, so just the knowing I can't open my mouth even if I want to is kind of one of the things that bothers me. Um, they are going to give me some clippers to use um, for medical emergency. They said they needed to be with you at all times. I bought this little lancet thing or whatever it's called to hang around my neck to put the clippers on, and that way it'll always be with me no matter where I'm at if I need it. Um, they suggested keeping some, you know, wipes close in case you make a mess, which I'm sure I'm probably going to be drooling all over myself. Um, medicine. Um, everything has to be in a syringe, guys. So, um, children's ibuprofen is the only ibuprofen that comes in a liquid form. So, make sure you got some of this on hand so I'm ready for it. Here is my beautiful spit cup I was referring to that my husband gets to rinse out for me. Um... One of the ladies that I watched also, since you won't be able to brush your teeth, she had got some of these, they're called brush picks. It's um, for the people that like the little picks to floss your teeth. These are basically the same thing, but it has a little brush head on the end of it. And she was able to go in between the wires to keep her mouth as clean as possible. So I would recommend getting some of those. Um, 
they say to keep Vaseline because um, your lips are going to be chapped. I am a chapstick kind of girl, so I have several tubes of these laying around within my reach. And last but not least, a friend of mine at church um, is a teacher, and she brought me a bell that she uses in her classroom that my husband is not very happy about, but this is what he will be hearing when I need him. Um, I've had it for a couple of weeks, so every time I walk by it, I ding it, and he um, lets me know that he can hear me. So, whoops, there it goes again. Um, so, the only other thing that I know right at the moment is um, just all that I have seen watching YouTube videos. I hope this one is going to be helpful for anybody um, to get them prepared and get them as ready as possible. Um, you can mix up foods in the blender for my husband for the first week. I didn't, you know, want to have to do that. So I already brought, bought pre, you know, pre-bought smoothies, applesauce, yogurts, things like that, that I could just pour over into the syringes and eat out of them. Um, as time progresses and I get to feeling like it, I'll get up and I'll make something that I can put in the blender and eat myself. So anyway, it is 310 on Sunday afternoon. August the, um, what is today, the 7th, and I have to be at the hospital tomorrow morning at 6.30 um, for the surgery. So anyway, just wanted to get you prepared for getting prepped for it. Um, not going to lie, I'm a little nervous about it, but I know God's got this and he's in control. Um, had several so-called friends tell me that they can't imagine me not talking for six to eight weeks, and honestly, I can't imagine that either. So uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye.